All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is day two here. Peter asked, can he uh, drive it into position? I was like, I don't know, can you? You may, if you want to. We've got to teach him proper grammar. I guess at St. Pius High School. Was it St. Pius High School? The fifth. Not the sixth? Is there a fourth? So anyway, we are going to extend that spiral duct to over there. Now, not for nothing, I'm not a ductwork engineer, right? But I would have rolled that 90 on a 45 and then put another 45 there and then went across hugging the ceiling. But... I guess, what do you expect for $3,000, right? Literally, all this stuff was 3,000 bucks. Not including installation. They actually wanted $4,000 to $4,500 to install this ductwork. Can you leave that shit? I need to raise my prices. You want me to... Uh Okay. What do you think would happen if you drove this scissor lift into like a brick wall? What do you think would happen? You think the brick wall would collapse? How big was fast enough? No? How fast does it go? Can it go faster? Yeah. Because right now you have it in turtle mode. Yeah. Fucking turtle. <laughs> Not the turtle from Entourage either. Oh, we got really close there to it, didn't we? Oh my God, it's like he's a union worker. <laughs> Beavis, crushing hazard. <laughs> Do not stand under or around platform during operation. <laughs> Beavis. <laughs> Beavis. All right, so Peter is going to drill a hole in the center top of our round duct right there. And we're going to use an angle Sammy. One of these bad boys, right? And we're going to drill into the far side of that first beam off the wall. We are 16 inches off the, off the cinder block wall to the center of our duct and center of our beam to the foundation wall, the cinder block wall is 18 inches. So this will give you, this is gonna make it like 17 inches, maybe 16 and a half if we don't go all the way in, but we'll be outside because I'm not drilling into the, the roof, right? We're gonna go into the beam. So hopefully we're good to go and hopefully Peter is uh, okay up there. Let's go St. Pius the Fifth. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Friday! It's Friday. Friday, August 9th, 2024. Um, yeah, 6.40 here in the morning. Uh, yesterday, we got that one installed. I extended the rental for, for a month, for three more weeks. There's really no price difference. To rent this thing for the day is like $250, plus like $350 round trip delivery. A month... Sorry, a week is like $400 and a month is $700. Like, might as well just keep it. I <laughs> love that thing, by the way. That thing's sick. Uh, we have to put another piece on there with an end cap. Then we're going to put these stupid <sighs> takeoffs. Yeah, I guess they're takeoffs, right? Because we take off here, right? And then you have the, the diffuser. I'm not putting any diffusers on these things. And then all island sheet metal 
And the guys who were using still didn't give us our transition piece to go up into this bay and across. I don't know why. And apparently the guy's on vacation with COVID or some shit like that. Nonetheless, it's Friday! I got my new um, license plates for the Tesla Cybertruck. This can go one of two ways. Got AC like air conditioning or got alternating current. Mmm. And by the way, guys, if you want any stickers like this, email me, Mike at MikeyPipes.com. There is a uh, descript uh, links in the description box down below if you would like to donate money to the postage fund. Not necessary, but uh, if you'd like to donate, I'd appreciate it. Anyway, being that today is Friday, I'd like to uh, send the guys home early, um, even during the week if possible. Uh, Daniel and I are swapping out a Fujitsu indoor um, evaporator high wall unit. I also got an estimate to install, oh man, estimate to install backflow. Oh man. All right, but I can go with that after, I'll help Daniel out. And let's see what I got, I'll say that. Daniel has a service call for a Bosch Green Star Combi. Hmm. In Garden City later this morning, I have a backflow device testing and an estimate to install a backflow device. <laughs> so I got two estimates for install backflow devices. I have help out Daniel to swap out a ductless mini split indoor evaporator. The other mic has a stoppage and a leak coming onto something from something. Love me Fridays. Yesterday, when we got this in, it was like 3 o'clock, and I'm like, you know what? Let's go home. It's all good. The, uh, the Bosch, by the way, has been maintaining whatever temperature I set this to. If I set it for 68, it gets 68 degrees in here. If I set it for 77, obviously much easier. I am going to be setting up our training board uh, probably next month during the month of September. Obviously, when I have a little extra free time, we're going to work on this. We're going to hook up the gas to the uh, the Alta, the Ecotech, the Green Therm, and the two other units right there. And uh, we are going to offer uh, training for contractors in the area uh, on service and repair, on how to service these things. I have replacement parts for all these all this equipment, so we can go through real life scenarios. We'll duplicate some failures. It's really going to be awesome. <clears throat> and as long as the right administration gets voted in in November, I will maintain my residency in the great states of United. The sun is finally out today. The sun, why wow, you can actually see it. Now. See that round little, I don't know if you can see it. I'll bring it a little bit closer. Look at that. The sun, there it is. See that little round little disc right there? The sun is finally here. Oh, there it is. Oh. And today and this weekend is going to be glorious. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.